The last thing we need to do is create the neckband. Now the neckband, when I examined it earlier, I noticed it's one continuous band. So this is where that seam in the V is where that single band meets itself. This means that the neckband is a long strip and some people like to create the pattern piece. For something that skinny and long, I just prefer to write the dimensions on a scratch piece of um, paper or pattern plastic um, and stick it with my pattern to make note of, okay, that's what the neckband is. So that's what we're gonna do. And you're gonna take measurements for that neckband. So you're gonna need your measuring tape and you're gonna measure from on the back of the shirt, from seam at the shoulder on one side to seam at the shoulder on the other side. Right along that seam. Nine and a half inches. So the back is nine and a half inches. And now, because it's perfectly symmetrical, I just need to go from that shoulder seam down to the point of the V and double it for the front. Eight inches in the front. So eight on one side, eight on the other side is 16. 16 plus nine and a half is 25 and a half. I need to take 90% of that 25 and a half to figure out how long I need for my neck band. For a V-neck, you want 90% or so. For a rounded neck or crew neck, um, you probably want closer to 80, 85%. But because this is coming down to a point and there's a lot of weight being pulled right here, you want more of a 90%. So we're gonna take 90% of 25 and a half, which is 22 and 22.95. I'm just gonna round that up to 23 <laughs> to make my life a little easier. Yeah, okay, 23. So 23 inches is how long I need my neckband to be. I'm going to add the seam allowance for where the ends meet. Um, I'm feeling it and it looks like it's only a quarter inch on either side, so half inch total. So that 23 inches is gonna become 23 and a half inches in length. So here's my scratch piece. 23.5 inches in length. Just writing it down so I don't forget. Now I'm gonna measure the width of that band. And again, this being your own, you can change it however you see fit. So this is just slightly over half inch. I'm just gonna call it half an inch. And with the quarter inch, that makes the whole piece, this whole piece, three quarters of an inch. Yep, roughly three quarter inch or an inch, whichever you want it to be. So it's measuring an inch. There must be a difference here. Maybe I'm not measuring. Oh, it's closer to three quarter inch on the outside. Okay. Sorry guys, so an inch. It's folded in half, so I need to double that, making it two inches. So 23.5 wide, or 23.5 long by two inches wide. And this is my neck band measurement. And I'm going to make my note, the length needs to be on stretch. This makes sense because if your fabric is not four-way stretch and you put the length on this, the direction of grain, it's not going to stretch to go over your head or even allow you to connect the band to the rest of the bodice. 